Welcome back to the Two Minute Warning. Today I'm looking at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers after they just re-signed their linebacker Levante David to a two-year $25 million deal. But before getting into that topic, question for those of you watching, who is the all-time leading rusher in yards for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? If you know the answer, comment it down below. If you do not, I will reveal the answer at the end, so make sure you stay tuned. But looking at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I made a video earlier after they franchise tagged Chris Godwin, now they just re-signed Levante David. Very happy with this play. I really thought between, I guess you could say, their three biggest free agents would have been Levante David, Shaq Barrett, Chris Godwin. And I'm really excited to see them get two of the three back. Shaq Barrett's going to be tough. He's probably going to be the most expensive of those three. I was really happy to get Levante David back. I like Devin White, and I think he would have filled Levante David's shoes perfectly. He's an amazing linebacker. He's emerging. He's only getting better. He's only 22, 23 years old awesome linebacker core and he probably would have had a great position being the captain of that front seven but i'm glad levante david is there with him arguably that is the best linebacker duo in the nfl in my opinion obviously things could change another offseason we could see more linebacker signs or trades or what so on and so forth but i'm very glad levante david's back with this front seven so looking at the defense as a whole that no these are the guaranteed guys that will be on the buccaneers defense Antoine Winfield Jr., top safety. That was a rookie for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Like I said, the two linebackers, Devin White and Levante David. JPP and Vita Bay are both under contract. So those are five very solid guys on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers that no matter what, even if you lose Ladakhton, Dominican Sue, and Shaq Baird on the defense, you can address defensive line in the draft if that, if that is a certain area you want to work on. In the draft, to me, if you re-sign those guys, I think the Namakon suit has a very high chance of coming back to the Buccaneers. He wants to play with Brady. He wants more rings. He's had his money early in his career. He's just ring chasing right now, and he knows that Brady, that is the best shot he's going to get with it. So I think he'll take a reduced contract. He's not going to go for pennies on the dollar, but I think he'll have a very high incentive-based contract. You know, it'll work out. So I think they'll re-sign the Namakon suit. Then, like I said, in the NFL draft, if you lose Shaq Barrett, address it in the NFL draft at number 32 overall. Pick up an extra defensive end, or if you're happy with William Golston coming off the uh, off the bench, I guess. He's a pretty good defensive lineman. I think he'd start in most places, but for the Buccaneers, he's coming off the bench. I'm happy with him. Maybe address an extra corner, an extra safety in the draft at number 32 overall. Work up that defense. Looking at the offense, you got Chris Godwin re-signed. A couple other free agents, of course, Antonio Brown, Rob Gronkowski, and Leonard from the are big ones. I really hope we get A.B. and Gronk back. I would have rather A.B. and Gronk over Chris Godwin if it was those two or just Godwin. However, we know Rob Gronkowski won't play for anyone but with Brady, so he might play on a reduced contract. It's highly incentive-based. Same thing for A.B. I don't know his motive. He might be looking for money now that he has his ring. He might be looking to be a top receiver in the league right now. He'll win with Brady, but if he goes elsewhere, he could become a number one receiver again, so that's really a question for himself. I can't really make that decision for him or – you know, debate which way he's going to go. I don't know the guy. So if he wants to win more rings, I think he'll stay with Brady. He loves Brady. They have a great chemistry. Brady stuck his neck out for him to go with the Buccaneers. And if he wants more rings, he definitely won't be leaving. However, he might be looking for a paycheck. Can't really blame him if he is. He's got his ring. Do whatever. And then Leonard Fournette, I'd love to see playoff Lenny come back because he was a huge part of our playoff run and the run in the Super Bowl. However, if he leaves, we have Ronald Jones. Rojo is a very viable running back. He's only, I think this was his second year this past year. He's only getting better. He's still pretty cheap and he's still pretty young. A lot of potential for him still. So looking at the current receiving core of Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Scotty Miller, and Rob Gronkowski is technically a free agent, but I'm going to consider him on the Buccaneers roster because there's no way he doesn't come back and play with Tom, in my opinion. And then on the defense, you got Levante David, Devin White. Like I said, arguably the best pair linebacker duo in the NFL, in my opinion. Then you got JPP, Embiid Bay, William Golston. Then in the secondary, you got Antoine Winfield Jr. leading that secondary. So a lot of talent on this team. I really think they'll be able to pull off signing Sue. I think they'll pull off signing Brown. I think they'll pull off signing Gronk. I think the biggest question marks will be Leonard Fournette and Shaq Barrett. If I had to pick one of those two to stay, I'm going to go with Shaq Barrett. Because even though Shaq Barrett, he was leading in sacks in 2019, 2020, he had a kind of a drop-off year. But the reason being is because after his um, – I think it was 19 sacks in 2019 or 18 because of those so many sacks in 2019 then he started getting double teamed to 2020 which reduced his sacks num sack numbers but when he's getting double team that opens up the one-on-ones for jpp a vita bay and i'm come soon where jpp a guy like that can win a one-on-one -on -one matchup between him and just one offensive lineman allowing um pressure to get to the quarterback from the other side of the defensive line so i really want shaq bear back and i hope they pull it off but either way i'm really happy to see levante david 
back with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I seriously thought they were going to let him walk after franchise tagging um, Chris Godwin. Now, this did use up a lot of their cap space. I think they had roughly $30 million in all they had in roughly, and they just gave Chris Godwin the franchise tag, which is probably around $14 million. I don't know the exact number. And um, Levante Davis making 12, so that's around $26 million. And of your 30, you only have four left. I think Brady's going to reduce his contract. Probably not a whole lot, maybe two and a half million, but it's better than nothing. So now you're at eight and a half million dollars. I think Mike Evans might take a million off. That's nine million dollars. And they could very well, if they sign Gronk, release Cameron Bray or OJ Howard, who are both due for six million dollars each. You don't need Gronk, Cameron Bray, and OJ Howard while they're all three special talented guys in the NFL, great red zone targets for Tom Brady. They're just not all needed, and you can use that six million elsewhere, such as going towards Shaq Barrett. I hope they either cut or restructure with one of those guys. I'd hate to lose. Both of them, but I do think it's okay to let go possibly O.J. Howard, who hasn't been much for the Buccaneers, and really they might be looking at their left tackle, Donovan Smith, who's due for, I think, $14 million himself this year. So there's going to be a lot of restructuring, and I have confidence in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Tom Brady to bring guys in. He's probably the best. He's like LeBron James of the NBA. He builds his own teams, and he knows that he knows who works. He knows who's talented. He, know who, he knows who he needs on his team, and the Buccaneers don't re-sign a certain guy. Tom Brady will be giving them the okay by that because I'm sure if there was someone who went on the team, they would be on the team. I think Brady, I'm not going to say he's the GM. Of course, it was Jason in the GM spot for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but Brady, I'm sure he has a large say in that Tampa Bay Buccaneers roster, and I think he's going to be happy. I think he's going to convince AB. I think he's going to convince Gronk. I think the Donald Kansu will come back and come down to Lion Fournette and Shaq Barrett. Shaq Barrett is my top priority, priority, but I don't see it happening no matter what, like I said. Very happy with Levante David getting re-signed, though, to help out Devin White. And once Levante David's over with this contract, he'll probably be 33, 34, getting up there in age. Still good linebacker, but by that time, Devin White will be 24, 25, just entering his prime and ready to finally fill his shoes. Can't wait to see the Buccaneers. I seriously think if re they bring back this entire roster, they're going to go back-to-back, -back, at least make it to the Super Bowl. Of course, who they play will be a factor if they win it all. And, of course, the Rams and Matt Stafford will be a tough matchup, and Aaron Rodgers is always going to be tough, and the Niners are going to be healthy. But I have utter confidence in Tom Brady, greatest quarterback of all time. And if they bring this Buccaneers roster completely back, they have almost no holes except in the secondary. But if they bring everyone back, the only hole is in the secondary, and they can address that in the NFL draft. But we will have to see a lot of free agents left. Offseason is just starting, and free agency is just starting. I can't wait to see it, though. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think this is a good move to re-sign Levante David? Who Do you think they'll get Shaq Barrett back? Do you think they'll get all those free agent backs? Like I said, let me know down below in the comments. And for the question of the video, for those of you watching, the all-time leading rusher in yards to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers is James Wilder. Only around 6,000 yards. I think if Rojo has an, his entire career with, Tampa Bay, with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, he will definitely pass him. Has, he already has like 1,700 yards. So thanks for watching, guys. Two in the morning.